evening all, sneak links back tonight. Now, the other day I was just testing the new Tiny Core, which I've got up on the screen now. And I went for the new Firefox, what they got on it there. And I was just going through the power user section, as you do, looking at security stuff and what have you, what's all new. So I was scrolling down and scrolling down, oh, better privacy, that's a new one. Let's have a look at that. Blah, 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 deletable LSOs. LSOs, I thought. Now, an LSO is a local local stored object, basically. So we'll fast forward to the next page. Anyway, it's a local stored object, or a cookie. So normally we know how to get rid of these. If you're using Windows, so you clean it, does it, you can do it manually in Linux and Mac, as far as I'm aware. So, you know, I didn't think much about it, so I've heard of them. But, on looking deeper, sorry, local shared objects, anyway, on looking deeper, these are super cookies. Basically, when you delete all your cookies or you do private browsing, they don't go anywhere. They stay on the system because they're actually stored in a separate place. They're actually nothing to do with the browser. It's actually down to flash. Now, this is a bit funny, this one, it really. So basically, you're trying to get rid of stuff and it's given you more. Now, an ordinary cookie holds around about 4K, it takes up. A super cookie or an LSO takes 100K. Mm. So here we go. Does private browsing protect me from uh, LSOs? No, it does not protect you from LSOs because it's a part of flesh. So tell your dad when he's doing a bit of browsing when mum's gone to sleep that all them sites he's been to, she can still look at. So that'll get him frightened before we start on it. But on the whole, I don't like the idea of this, although in some instances it can be good. Why would you need a super cookie? Hmm. I don't get really. I mean, I know the BBC iPlay uses cookies and it probably uses these as well, so that's you know, a good example. But on other sites, the, uh, the ones you would normally go to, they could track you anywhere, couldn't they? Anyway, I've gone to this next section basically. And the US government's looking into this because they've just been put on the system and nobody knows about them, not even your browser when you're using it. So that's a bit naughty, really. So basically, the super cookie is super. And on top of that, it can do stuff that you don't want it to do. Basically, you know when you're playing a game like Halo or something, and you respawn? Well, basically, when you delete all your cookies, so I'll get to that bit in a minute, but I will highlight it. When you delete your cookies, you think they're all gone. Not with a super cookie. As soon as you log back in, the super cookie puts all the old cookies back. So you haven't got rid of them anyway. Now, I just don't like the sound of this, do you really? It's a bit naughty, really. I haven't even spoke my name right there either, I was a bit upset about that. So next time you're using Flash, and you're using a video site, even YouTube, be very, very aware, you are not deleting any cookies whatsoever, they're still tracking you. So get this if you've got a Firefox, but it looks good. I'm going to give it a whiz once I've finished playing with Tiny Core, and we'll go from there I think. But on the whole, it's not very good is it? Even the White House don't know about it. Naughty, naughty, naughty. What are we going to do? Sneaky Linux. Go to get this new app. I'm gone.